There's been several occasions where I've been on mountain drives with friends and we had either a screw or a bolt in someone's tire. We're talking like on a GT3 or a GT3 RS here. And I was thankful that we had the stop and go tire plugger with us to get the tire repaired and get us on our way. Um, a quick shout out to my friend Luke for introducing me to this kit. Hey, I'm Andy, a high performance car enthusiast with a passion for well-engineered automobiles. I love to drive mountain roads with like-minded enthusiasts, along with sharing driving tips and techniques in my Porsche GT3 RS and BMW M2 CS. So this particular kit is called the Deluxe Kit, and it's deluxe because it kind of comes with this hard case um, with the items in it. If you don't get the Deluxe Kit, you'll get a kit that has the, um, it's a pouch with a zip pouch and has a little bit different mechanism for inserting the plug in the tire. So first off, we, we get that box. The next thing is we actually have the tire plugger gun. This works very much like a, a caulking gun. The next item is the nozzle. So this is the actual nozzle that's gonna get inserted into the tire. The gun will screw onto the tire, and I'll show you an important detail about this in just a moment. Um, the next is the Reamer Rasper. Hey, what kind of video are you making here? Next is the, you gotta love these names. This is the probe tool. Make of it what you will. The next item are the actual plugs themselves. I'll pull those out and show you a little bit more detail. Um, these are in a bag that's sealed and I recommend you keep this bag sealed because these are lubricated. And then last but not least is once you get the tire plugger in there and you have a, a little bit of the uh, remaining that's outside the tire, you use this little razor knife to slice that off. There's a few extra optional items that I have here. One is a pair of latex vinyl gloves. You know, if you're working around tires or with tires, you know they're gonna get dirty, so it probably wouldn't hurt to have those. I would also suggest you have with you a screwdriver, flathead or Phillips, although I think flathead works better for helping to wedge stuff out of the tire, and then a basic pair of pliers that you can use to actually pull whatever the device is out of the tire. And last but not least, you're out on the road, you're not near a gas station, it probably wouldn't hurt to have the Ryobi tire filler. Um, I'll put a link up above or in the description below for a video I did on the tire filler. Get your tire filled back up with air and get yourself on your way. If it's happening on your front tire, you may need to, you may need to turn your wheel so that the tire where the item is, is kind of exposed, right? You don't want it up under the wheel well. So you're either gonna turn it outward if you wanna reach it over here, or you wanna turn it inward um, if you wanna get it here. And also I would position it in this top, um, I don't know what you wanna call it, top quarter uh, of a tire so that you can get some leverage here as opposed to having it down here, or you know, I probably put it somewhere up in this area here. Now, if this is happening on your rear tire, well, I hate to tell you, um, I've seen that happen before. You're gonna have to get down. Yeah, I would position it lower on the tire and you're gonna have to get down on your side um, to get it. So yeah, the rear tire is not a lot of fun. Okay, so step one is to remove the object. So you could sit there with a the screwdriver and you might have to get yourself up underneath the item, especially if it's a bolt, uh, potentially even a screw. Uh, a, a nail especially, and then use a pair of pliers to pull it out. This item here looks like it has a little bit of a head on it. Um, and so I'm actually using the, <laughs> the um, screwdriver and I'm just gonna unscrew. This one happens to be a screw that's in the tire. So step number two is actually um, reaming out the hole. Okay, so this is that rasper reamer tool I was referring to earlier. So here you can turn and twist it in, almost like you're screwing something into the tire. And what you're doing here is two things. One is you're clearing out that hole, and two is you meet, need to make that hole a little bit bigger. You wanna keep going in and out here. I would have it 
like work the outer edge more so than worrying about like say the inside of the tire because this is going to make your life a lot easier when you insert the nozzle in the actual plug itself so okay step number three you want to load this plug into the gun so what you want to do is you want to set it on top of the gun like this and you want to take your nozzle and you want to push that in you don't have to jam it way down in there but you just want to push that in the gun so do that next your next step is to take the probe tool insert it and you'll see that there's threads on here um, and you'll want to screw that into the nozzle like so and then you'll want to insert this nozzle into the into the hole now here's something that's real important is you see on here there's the there's a silver a gray and then this dark gray you want to have all the way down to this dark gray inside the tire and that's why i said about making that hole as big as you can is to get this thing in there there we go once it's in then you can just unscrew the probe tool and now we're ready for the gun that five is take the gun and screw it into the nozzle now some people have asked me why do the instructions have you used a probe tool why not just put it on the gun and stick it in there and you could do that now i'm going to make an important note here so this gun with this handle and back here this thing um, depending on how your tire is turned it could hit the fender of your car so you may have to position your wheel so you can actually get this thing um, installed uh, you know work the gun I'm sorry work the gun without hitting the fender of your car so then once that's in then you're going to work this handle just like you would a um, a caulking gun okay and then you're going to work this to get that plug down inside the tire and you may have to use some force to get that thing in there um, and it's in and then once it's in just push the button and release like you would a caulking gun lift up on this and pull this out and then you see here we have a little bit of the stub of the plug your next step is to take your pair of pliers and pull up on this plug because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to get the plug seated up against the inside of the tire so i typically pull up on it at least a few inches the next step is to actually fill your tire with air so take your tire filler and then the final step is once your tire is pulled filled with air don't pull up on this but just you know hold it so you can take this supplied that razor knife that was supplied and then just cut that flush with the tire and there you go and we've done this and i've, I've had guys drive another heck probably seven eight hundred miles with that plug in their tire um, just as reference of note uh, that the, what I usually do is if you put your hand on the tire uh, here and you lay your thumb on the tire as long as your object is between my thumbs you're good to use this uh, like a tire repair kit if you are at the thumbs or further outside you would need to get yourself a new tire so use that as reference a quick note is if you have a bolt or really large object in your tire it may take a couple of plugs to fill the hole um, i actually had a friend who had a bolt in his tire and i think we put in three plugs uh, to fill the hole just just, just such a note on that so anyway there's a quick and easy way to repair your tire stop and go tire plugger an expensive thing something i'd recommend that you have in your car and as i said earlier in the video having a couple extra items a tire filler with you just makes life a whole lot easier thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and as always stay healthy and stay safe